Wherever you are around the world today, it's great you can be here with us. Uh, it's so exciting to know that there are so many people in so many different places, in so many different ways, who are part of this journey with us in walking more deeply with God. Yesterday in the weekly, the long message that I give every week, I looked, I, I looked more deeply into uh, who Jesus the Good Shepherd is and how Jesus comes to us in our life. And if you haven't watched that message, go to, go to our website, go to this address and just look up the, or you'll see it right there in the top of the screen. Uh, it's a long version of what we talked about the other day and it goes a little deeper as well. Uh, I want to ask you for your prayers today as we begin and I want to pray today. Uh, and the reason I want to pray today, so many people have been saying to me they've been appreciating every week when we spend a bit of time in prayer. Uh, some people have been asking me if we would record some of the prayers. Um, uh, I, I hadn't thought of doing that. I'll, we'll give some thought to how we might do that. I'm very pleased to tell you that the Prayers to the Holy Spirit book starts being shipped out to people all over the world. In the next couple of weeks, you will receive it uh, all over the world. And to all of you, I'm tremendously grateful uh, for waiting. And uh, I pray that this book really very, very much blesses you. If you don't have this, you can go to our website or go to the Give tab and you determine how much you give for the book. But it's a, it, the entire book are prayers that I have prayed. They're not recorded, but I have prayed them and uh, I wrote them and I pray that they would bless you. Uh, a couple of things I want to ask you if you'd pray for. On the 3rd of September, I am speaking in Sydney, Australia at an event called An Afternoon with the Catholic Guy. And then the following week in Brisbane, Australia. Uh, and at those events, my prayer is that we would experience an encounter with the Holy Spirit in our life and that the presence of God would be present. Uh, they're not going to be big events, uh, but uh, they will be there. Uh, to people in other places and all sorts of places who are asking, will we do similarly? We will. It's just dependent on where we get invited to go and uh, how that might get organized. But uh, if you want us to come to where you are around the world, um, we're very open to doing that. Uh, it's something that I feel like the Lord has been speaking to me about to come to places to pray. But can I ask you to pray for Sydney, Australia, for Brisbane, Australia, and uh, before we come to the U.S., and, and do similarly in similar places as well. well. I'm going to pray today. I'm going to ask that all that we've talked about in recent days in this series of knowing Jesus, that Jesus would be more present in our life. Why don't you just be silent for a minute and just, just focus where you are and just be still. Loving God, you look upon each of us and you know the intimacy of our life. That is, that there are no hidden secrets. There's no places that we are not, that you are not. You are with us all of the time. We say at the end of these daily devotionals, you're never far away. <laughs> and the reason you're never far away is because you're already there. And Lord God, you know what each of us are going through right now. You know what burdens us for ourselves for those we love, for people around us, and for our world. You know what lifts us up. You know what gives us joy. You know what regrets we have. You know what happy memories we have. You know everything. And your love is undiminished no matter where we are. Your love is undiminished no matter what ways we've let you down. Your love is undiminished by our faithfulness, by our enthusiasm, by our awareness of you. You love us regardless. You are committed to us. You are full-faced towards us. In this series, Knowing Jesus, may we come to that ever-present sense of Jesus in our life as our brother, as our saviour, fully human, fully God. May as we listen in these days and in our hearts right now, may the words that Jesus has spoken, the example that Jesus has given, the character of who Jesus is, the way he conducted himself, who he is in eternity, 
would be revealed to us. We thank you right now that the scripture tells us that Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father and right now he is interceding for us. From heaven, he's looking down and he's pointing out that person and that person and saying, look, Father, look at them. 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 And right now he's beside the Father and he's saying, look at you. Father, look at them. Father, look at them. Jesus, may we know your power in our lives. Jesus, may we know that when we see you, we see the Father. Jesus, may we know that as we encounter you, we are encountering you through the Holy Spirit, revealing you to us. Jesus, allow us to know you both as Saviour, as a resurrected God. Allow us to know you, the one true God. And now, Lord God, I pray for all of the needs that people have all over the world. Way too big for me. I can't do anything for anybody. I'm so aware of my nothingness and inability to do anything for anybody. But I am confident in you. I am confident that you can. I am confident that you are yes and amen. Hear the prayers in every heart in detail right now. Hear the prayers. We stand against through the resurrection and the blood shed on Calvary of evil. It has no place in the hearts and in the circumstances of the people who are praying right now, anywhere in the world, in Jesus' name. Bring your power and bring your might into people's lives. Come Lord God, right now. Lord, I pray that as we travel to the places that we do, that you would, Lord God, allow your Holy Spirit to fall on those places. Bring those you wish, small in numbers, large in numbers, whatever you want. Bring the perfect number of people and may we encounter you. Come Holy Spirit. We commit our lives to you and may we help others grow an ever deepening relationship with you as we grow in an ever deepening relationship with you. Thank you that you've heard our prayers. And because of our prayer today, I believe, even if no one else believes, I believe that we will see your hand in the lives of people all over the world and what you have done. And Father, we make this prayer. In the name of Jesus, through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, God bless you all, everybody. Thank you for being with us. Know this, God heard our prayer today. But more than that, he heard our prayer, he heard your prayer. And God is with you wherever you are. God bless you. See you tomorrow. And don't forget, wherever you are, God is never far from you. <laughs>